So by the end of this video, you should be able to take an inventory of yourself to know when your brain is more alert, when you're more productive. So that way you can do some of the things that you've been pushing away. The brain is generally more alert and focused when it is. Hello, Verbal Pals, my special VPs. Welcome back to my channel. Hello, Verbal Pals. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I just want to talk about when the brain is more alert and why. Studies have shown that for most people, the brain is most alert and focused in the morning hours, shortly after waking up, which makes sense because they're well, you know, hopefully they got quality sleep and they're well rested. This is due in part to the body's natural cortisol reading, which as we know, cortisol is a stress hormone. And this peaks in the early morning and helps regulate alertness and energy levels. So additionally, the brain may be more alert in the morning because it has had the time to rest and recharge during the previous night's sleep. However, it is important to note that individual factors such as lifestyle habits, work schedule, and stress levels can all influence brain function and alertness throughout the day. It is essential to maintain a healthy lifestyle, including regular exercise, good nourishment or good nutrition and adequate sleep to ensure optimal brain function and alertness all through the day. Now let's talk about circadian rhythm. What is circadian rhythm? The circadian rhythm is a 24 hour internal clock that regulates various physiological processes in living organisms human beings, including sleep-wake cycles, hormone production, body temperature, and other bodily functions. The term circadian comes from the Latin words circa or circa, meaning around to around the day, reflecting on the fact that these readings occur in um, roughly a 24-hour cycle. The circadian rating is regulated by a master clock in the brain called the suprachiasmatic nucleus, SCN for short. And this is located in the hypothalamus. So if you haven't seen my previous video, I recommend you watching this video to understand more of why I'm talking about circadian rhythm and how productive your brain is. So the SCN, which is the suprachiasmatic nucleus, it receives information about light and dark cycles from the eyes, and it uses this information to synchronize the body's various internal clocks with the external environment. So think about when you sleep, we, we're meant to sleep at nighttime when the sun is down, and when the sun is rising, your body actually starts waking up because the production of melatonin is going down as the sun is rising. It all goes with the circadian rhythm within this 24 hour cycle. So again, the circadian rhythm is regulated by this master clock in the brain, right? That's called the SCN for short. And it's located in the hypothalamus, so when it receives information about light and dark cycles from the eyes and even though when you even though you're sleeping your eyes can still see light light can still pass through your eyes if you close your eyes light and there is light you will still see the light okay it might not be that bright but you still be see, seeing the light so so light and dark cycles from the eyes um you receive information and it uses this information to synchronize the body's various internal clocks with the external environment meaning day or night which is why people who work in night shift they it has been shown that they have a shorter lifespan because their body is not synchronizing to the external clock the way it's meant to function okay now the circadian rhythm plays an important role in regulating many physiological processes including like i said the sleep wake cycle and hormone production metabolism and immune function disruptions to the circadian rhythm such as those caused by shift work like i just mentioned jet lag or or certain medical conditions can lead to a range of health problems including sleep disorders metabolic disorders and mood disorders the most productive part of the day is what I want to talk about now if you are able to do most of what you like maybe the most difficult things that you need to accomplish when your brain is more alert and when you are more productive then it will go a long way right the most productive part of the day varies from person to person and everyone's natural circadian rating also varies our work schedule is different our lifestyles are different and all of these can influence our productivity however studies have shown that most people 
The morning hours are typically the most productive time of the day. During the morning, our energy levels are typically higher and our brains are more alert and focused making it an optimal time for tasks that require concentration. For me, I prefer to write in the morning because, you know, there is less distraction in the morning, I'm well rested, and I have more energy in the morning. So do what you really need more concentration for, particularly in the morning or when you know that you're more productive. That being said, some individuals may find that they are more productive during other times of the day, such as in the afternoon or evening. It is important to understand your own personal work patterns and energy levels and structure your day accordingly to maximize productivity. Additionally, taking regular breaks, staying hydrated and practicing good sleep habits can all contribute to overall productivity throughout the day. Also, for people who stand a lot to work, I, I was surprised about this actually, that standing to work, standing all day to work is more detrimental to our health than sitting all day to work. So if you're standing all day to work, make sure that you're moving, you're not just you know, stand in one place because the gravity is pulling everything down and you're just standing all day. Make sure you are alternating between sitting down and taking walks, like taking breaks. And for people who sit all day, of course, you know, it's still not healthy to be sitting down all day, but it's better than standing all day. However, it's good to alternate between standing, sitting, and taking walks, taking breaks, so that you can be healthier and be productive. Your mind, your body, everything can synchronize with the external environment and function better and you're able to accomplish a lot more with all these different things that you do to improve your health to improve your mental state and to improve your lifestyle that said that's all i have for you today thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video i hope this video was informative please like this video and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video with others if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel because it lets youtube know that my channel is worth recommending to others and you get notified whenever i post a new video i'll be bringing you lots of valuable information as well as scientific knowledge that will help you become a better version of yourself with that said i look forward to seeing you next time so thank you for joining bye Yeah